The early geologists studied mountains in great detail, in fact. Uh, they documented the rocks that were present in them, and they documented the folds and the faults. And some of the books written by the early Swiss geologists are magnificent examples of the documentation of geological data. However, how mountains formed was a great mystery. Early geologists thought that perhaps they were rather like the wrinkles on the surface of a dried up apple. In other words, that the earth was contracting and the mountains were wrinkles on the surface. Even when I was an undergraduate, which was quite recently, mountains could not really be explained. We were simply told that they were great belts of sediment that had somehow subsided into the crust of the earth and been squeezed from both sides. Not really satisfactory explanations at all, but we can now explain mountains quite well with the advent of plate tectonics.